Hello guys, Sedra Sorcerer here again, and welcome to a somewhat of a tips and trick, but rather it's more of a guide. It's basically showing you guys how to config and set up a server, port forwarding, getting your IP, and yeah, downloading Minecraft, which is pretty basic. But yeah, this video is pretty short. Oh, well, I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. And as you see, Chillix is on my server right now. Um, although you'll see at the very end what happened it was kind of funny. By the way, um, if the, everything that you're going to need is going to be in the description down below, and hopefully you guys can uh, set up your own servers. By the way, I'm going to jump into my footage right now and talk to you guys there. Okay guys, so we're on the desktop here and our first order of business is to port forward our router so we can access a Minecraft server. So firstly, we're going to go to our internet browser here and we're going to go to the address. Type in 192.168.1 and then 1. And most routers use this command, but either way, as you see here, we get a little option for my router plus uh, the username plus password. Now, since I have this already set to an actual username and password, uh, it's going to be different for you guys. But for most of the cases, it's going to be admin admin for the password and username. By the way, I'm going to type in my stuff here real fast. And when you finally get onto your router, you're going to have uh, something similar like this. Now, depending on what router you're using, it's going to be slightly different. But all the time, you're going to be using the application and or gaming. And like I said, there's going to be something in the description down below for you guys to check out. It's called portforwarding.com. By the way, uh, the next thing you're going to do is just click on it. And as you see here, I have nothing. Because remember I said earlier that my um, my router got reset. By the way, so we're going to type in here Minecraft. Now in our external port is going to be 25565. 25565 and also the, ex the internal port. So 25565. Now have it on both. Now right here it says 2IP. Now it's going to have zeros at the end. Now this is where you're going to need to go here. So the next thing you're going to need to do is go to your internet connection. Go down to where it says, or actually right click where it says open network and share center. And you'll get an option like this. The next thing you want to do is click wireless network connection. And then you'll go to details. And then you're going to just look at this number right here. You'll see an IP4 address and it'll be like this. It'll be the exact same one as the router, except it'll have two extra digits at the end. So it'll be one nine, it was a, 192.168.110 something. So in this case, I have 106. So I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to put a 106 for my two IP address. And I'll just click enable and then I'll click save settings. And that's pretty much it. That's how you configure your router. So now that the settings have been saved, the next step is to get your IP. So the next thing you're going to do is just go to like Google and type in what is my IP and it should be the first one it's my IP.com you'll click it and it'll give you your IP here now of course I am blocking most of this stuff when I'm editing this, this video but either way basically you're going to copy this thing right here wherever my mouse is uh, highlighting I'm getting some weird pop-ups right now don't know why and then you want to copy it now the next thing I show you guys is how to use a website called I um, no IP.com so this is a easy way for you guys to hand out your IP without, you know, you giving your actual IP number. So either way, you go to the IP.com and as you see here, I already signed in. Now all you have to do is just make an account. It's fairly fast and very simple. Now once you make your account, just go to where it says host and redirects. And then just follow the instructions by adding a host domain and putting your IP in the thing. Just follow the steps and you should be good. So as you see here, add a host. Um, this right here is my... IP I use to when I get to people it is gonna be blurred out during this video because I kind of don't want people to know exactly what it is even though it is still safe I just don't like people randomly join, joining the server and right here in this where the mouse is uh, moving up and down this is where my actual IP is so that's pretty much it and the next thing I'll show you guys real fast is how to get Minecraft now this is the very simple one let's just go to Google type in Minecraft and you should go to minecraft.net Actually, we'll just skip and go to the download section. So easily, all you have to do is just go to where it says download multiplayer servers and click server jar. Now it will save it and I have, I'll set mine to the desktop. There we go. So as you see here, it's on the desktop. Now you don't want to open it here, but you want to make a new folder and just call it server. Now we're going to drag this thing in here and click it and it will give you a little thing like this. 
Now all you gotta do is just click it once and it should activate the server. There you go. Now it's gonna be generating the world, it's gonna be doing, it's gonna pretty much add these other things inside the server as well, or inside the folder. So after you do this, you want to, um, actually the first thing I like to do is just OP myself, so set a source word, and then I'll type in stop, because I'm gonna be doing some other stuff real fast. Okay, so now this thing is stopping the server, it's saving the chunks. I'm going to explain how to set up the server in a way you want. Now the first thing you're going to see here is a server properties file. Now by default I think it's like this, but all you have to do is just right click it and open as a notepad and it should work. Okay, so we'll open it. And as you see here we get a few options here. Now majority of the time the one, a few things are going to change. Firstly, unless you love trolling your friends, you may want to change this to false PvP. Uh, max players, exactly what it says. Max amount of players could join. I'm just going to put two just because I want to. Um, you can change the name of the server. This is what people will see when they're about to log in. Um, generate stuff, mobs, true, difficulties, etc. So it's pretty self explanatory. Now, like for example, if I want to change, let's see, right here I have world. This is the default world. But let's say I have a custom map and I just drag it in here. I'll just change the level name to whatever it is and it should work. So either way, we're going to get started here. Um, let's just save whatever changes and let's start the server back up. And the server will go here. Now let me open my Minecraft up while I was doing that so I can at least get on so I can show you guys. Okay, there we go. So my Minecraft's there. I'm just going to log in. Go to Minecraft. And then you just go to your servers. Uh, you can save it, but I'm just going to do a direct connect because just to show you guys it works. So either way direct connect and like I said I have mine set to whatever it is but you're not gonna see it because it will be bleeped out don't want everyone to join my server but as you see here I want what, what the fuck how how okay <laughs> Okay, interesting. Okay, so there's Chillix magically on my server. I don't even. But yeah, um... <laughs> wow, okay. So... Yeah, I, I kind of lost my train of thought here. Yeah, basically, um... Since I gave him my um, port forwarding IP thing, the, um, the thing I used noip.com for, um, he could just save it and he could join whenever it pops up. I guess he just magically got on when it was at that one time but as you see here we're on the server and there he is so yeah i think that's pretty much it so hopefully this video isn't too long i just wanted to um show how to um <laughs> lol by the way um like i said i just wanted this video to be pretty short and just give you the basics on how to make a server uh hopefully you guys know how to pour it forward like i said there's going to be a description or there's going to be something in the description down below for you guys to check out um it's and also, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. But hopefully, it's pretty easy. It's, it's a very easy um, thing to do. But there were some people asking, how do I set up a multiplayer server? And yeah. By the way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.